meeting, mm. that person could perhaps put their name on their profile. You can see who they are. Yeah, so if you don't know how to do that, if you go to participants and you find your name uh, and you click on the three little dots that are there, it should enable you to rename. Um, there's also somebody TSM. I don't know who that is. You can just put your name there and rename yourself. Okay, Lorato, thank you. You've done, done that. If you don't know how to do it, I can, I can rename you if I know who you should be. Okay. Um, I can give you a, any name if you like. Yeah. Um, okay, it's uh, five past three, uh, South African time, five past one, GMT, um, five past four, I think it is, East African time. Welcome to the Facilitation for Learning course. Um, and uh, it's good that you can join us. We're very proud to be presenting this course as Sunstripe. And I'm just going to very briefly ask my colleagues to um, show their faces to you in just a moment. Uh, I'm Ian Cooper, um, and you hopefully have met me already through the uh, Flipgrid video that you would have seen. Um, so with me, I have Julia Blitz. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the program. We look forward to getting to know you over the next couple of weeks. Thank you. We have Kanita Britz. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. We have Jackie Cooper. Hello, everyone. So excited that we start him finally. <laughs> we have Talita Crowley. Good afternoon um, to all the participants. And last but not least, we have Mariki de Villiers. Hello, everybody. Great to see you. Very excited about this program. Mm. I hope you are too. We're looking forward to meeting all of you over the next six weeks and having fun with you. Great. So next slide, please, Kanita. Uh, so Today's session is an orientation session, um, and we, we call it Unit 00 because it's not actually one of the six units, it's just to introduce you to, to the course, and this session will be led by myself and Mariki. Um, as part of arriving, we'd like to just ask you to, uh, we can go back, Kanita, if we can ask you just to... Um, Introduce yourselves in, in the chat box. Just say who you are and, and where you are from so we can get a sense of who, everyone can get a sense of who is part of this uh, course today. So just in, your, in the chat, uh, put your, your name and uh, where you're from. Thanks. Welcome, Eskadar. Welcome, Ray. Welcome, Rato. Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome, Milka. Welcome, Kwame. Welcome, Celebalo. Welcome, Gladys. Welcome, Selena. Welcome, Rahel. Welcome, Heaven Light. It's nice to see a, a range of, of countries represented uh, in, in the, this course. Um, and I think that's one of the strengths is that we'll be able to be working and collaborating uh, across countries. Um, I don't know if that's everybody. It looks like we might be missing uh, a few. Uh, welcome, Erdil. Okay, um, please carry on doing that, but let's go into the next slide. Um, so this just gives you an idea of what we are going to do today. I'm not going to go through this uh, in detail, um, but just so you know where we're going to get to over the next 90 minutes. 
uh, in terms of outlining the course, giving some of uh, the sort of philosophy expectations, talking about navigating the LMS resources. We do some reflection at the end and prepare you then for the next session, which is unit one, uh, which will be in a week's time. Next slide, please, Kanita. So what are we aiming for in this course, in the facilitation for learning course? We want a group of active and energized facilitators who create safe person-centered learning spaces. And, and these words are very specific. It's very much person-centered about safety and also collaborative learning experiences. So we hope to do that by helping you to develop skills for facilitating interprofessional online small group learning. We hope that we can start a community of facilitators and that this community can begin to support each other and help each other to grow. Our approach is very much an approach of shifting from teaching to learning. Um, so that the focus is very much on learning through this course. And also we have a focus on relationships and learning through experiences, each other's experiences, our own experiences and relationships uh, through that. And at the end, we hope that because of this course, there'll be a co cohort of Africa Health course facilitators who are available to, to help facilitate courses on the Africa Health online platform and all sorts of different courses. We focus in on online, but all these skills, everything we do in this course are completely uh, transferable to uh, a face-to-face in-person environment. Next slide. So apart from serious learning we hope will happen, we also hope that you're going to have fun. And part of having fun is that we are introducing a metaphor for this course. Metaphors are symbols, they're things in everyday life that we can use to creatively explore our ideas and, and to try and see things differently. And the metaphor we have chosen for, for this course is a boat. So when you listen to the, uh, or watch the videos that you were required to do for the preparation for the session, you will notice that each of us introduced ourselves in terms of boats. You might have wondered what that what was going on about that. So yes, that's the, the boat and you can see the little boat signal, I mean sign in, in the drawing in the on the slide, we've chosen the boat and boats can vary. I mean, there'll be dugouts, there'll be canoes, there'll be large cruise ships, there'll be submarines, you know, anything, you know, pirate vessels, anything is possible. And each boat moves with different forms of energy, some with wind, some with uh, diesel engines, some with paddles or oars, um, all sorts of different uh, possibilities. And our boats use navigation systems that are different. Computers, radars, maps, compasses, um, stars, uh, lots of possibilities. And our boats are found in different contexts. Rivers, lakes, oceans. Uh, we will all, when we think of a boat, think of a boat in a, in a particular context. We never think of a boat, I think, we're, we're without thinking about the context a boat is in. Um, and boats are designed for journey, and, and this course is very much a journey, and we hope that you will be journeying with us uh, along this, this river that we have chosen as the, the symbol for, for the course um, in your boat. So jump on board and have fun with us. Next slide. The course is uh, seven weeks, so this orientation and six units, as you would have seen, and you can see each of the units is linked to the boat metaphor. So in unit one next week is going to be about what is my boat, then the relationships of boats to each other, there's how boats relate to each other in context, there's a how about how boats work together, then we need to launch our boats, act, actually practice our facilitation, and then we need to set, set off on our own journey, so we need to leave the harbour. Next slide. So the course is very much structured around everybody, all the participants bringing and sharing their experiences with each other and learning from each other's experience. So it's going to be very interactive. There's going to be active participation. And to remember that we learn not just from negative experiences, not just from positive experiences, all kinds of experiences, positive, negatives, neutral, Whatever we feel about it, any experience can be a learning 
opportunity. And there's a flow and sequence that I hope you'll see over the seven weeks. So um, you'll have activities to guide your flow. Every Thursday for the next six weeks after this, we'll have the Zoom session, uh, which is a requirement uh, for, for the course. But at the end of each Zoom session, like today, you'll get preparation for the next unit. And we expect you to do that preparation before you come to that unit. We will also pause for reflection, ask you to reflect on what we've done in the session together, as well as um, in terms of, of, of afterwards, we'll ask, so ask you to. And then usually there's a post unit activity um, that will help you to think a bit more and hopefully learn a bit more from uh, what we've been doing. Uh, and I think I'm at this point supposed to hand over to Mariki. <laughs> I might have done an extra slide, but anyway, over to you, Mariki. You're on mute, Mariki. Thank you, Ian. Uh, I just want uh, Kanita to go back uh, to the previous slide, course structure, th this one, yes. So, you you as a group have particularly been nominated because of your experience that you already have. So you are already an experienced group of facilitators. Firstly, you know the Stripe program and you have all facilitated in that yourselves. Uh, we did that because you are the first group go going through this course. Um, and we specifically that first point of bring and share your experience, we want to work with that. Uh, as we we will not treat you as novices, we will respect your experience and we would really love you to bring it into this course. We will also after this course, hope to get very good and in depth feedback from you how to adapt the course, how to change it longer, shorter, more, more, more or less. Um, so I, ju I just wanted to make a point of how we value what you bring to this course and please let it shine through throughout the course. Uh, the question of active participation is really very important. That's the way you're going to learn. Uh, you will see that this course does not give you lectures. It will work with you and your experience and uh, some activities. Okay, so I just wanted to add that to what Ian was saying. So then the next slide, thank you. So we want to, as a group, us as facilitators and you as the participate, participants, uh, see if we can share these commitments. Uh, and you would have seen in the outcomes, we're talking about person-centeredness. So for, for us in this course, people come first, a person comes before opinions. We would really like to shape it according, of course, according to your needs, what, what you want to do, where you're going to. So we want to hear every voice. I know some of us speak less and some of us speak more. So we would like to give, oh, there's Ivan. Welcome, Ivan, happy to see you. Uh, Thank you voices... very much. <laughs> Hi, Ivan. Uh, every voice is heard and we would want to give time to listen to. So we will try and understand each other's viewpoints before expecting to be understood. And we have a saying that we would put curiosity before judgment. So we try and be curious why people are saying things. And in that way, we learn more. And then secondly, you are a very diverse group in terms of professions and countries. Actually, what brings us together is AfriHealth, which is wonderful. I just want to mention AfriHealth and Georgina and her team for assisting in presenting the Sunstripe team in doing this course. So we come from a diversity of experiences and possibilities. This creates quite rich experiences and learning. And again, that's why we're saying we are building this course. You are all elephants in your own, on your own place where you work. So oh, we are building this course on the backs of all your elephants, you know, big, 
strong differences we would like to hear about and welcome it and celebrate again that's how we learn and then thirdly you will find a lot of emphasis uh, in this course on the process of learning how we are learning we are not giving you textbooks heavy textbooks we will give you resources show resources but we would really like to move to active learning via the process. Uh, uh, we will help you to observe and notice what is happening and how you learn. Uh, the knowledge, I think, the knowledge of how to facilitate small group learning, most of you have. You will carry it forward. Maybe once next time you do this course and remember we're developing facilitators guides for this course. We've already written up how you are going to do this course next time <laughs> uh, after we've done a few trainings. Okay, so that's our shared commitments and perhaps we shall come back to it now and again as it's relevant. So next slide. So there will be, a, you will receive a certificate of completion so the good news is no test, no exam, <laughs> but we do want to honor your, your participation with a certificate of completion. But by completion, we mean that you need to uh, commit yourself to this seven sessions, day the first and the six weeks, especially to all the zoom sessions if you cannot make it we've already had somebody said they had a bereavement in the family please contact winifred let her know before the time if something happened on the day please contact winifred as soon as possible uh, that we can know why you are not there if you do not attend all these we won't be able to give you a certificate of completion and uh, that is why ian said the course has a flow. If you miss one, it's a problem. However, those who cannot help to miss one, we are recording and we will post this on the LMS, the learning management system, immediately after the session, as well as these PowerPoints. So these PowerPoints will also help you to remind you of things. We would like you to have active participation in the course. Um, you will be required to do small tasks, don't worry, not too big tasks, on the learning management system, uh, to put up interaction. And in the end, we would like you to submit a final reflective piece. We'll say more about it. It would be more about what you have learned. So those three criteria are then, uh, would qualify you for a certificate of completion. It would be a very nice certificate with the logos from PEPFAR and all of that. And the principle that we use here is that we are adult learners. We take responsibility for our own actions. And as we have relationships as a focus in this course, we trust that each participant will fully contribute. We also understand that we are not all perfect. Some days are diamonds and some days are dust. Um, and please let us know if there are things that are, uh, make it difficult for you to participate. Okay, the next slide. So we would like you, first of all, I want to say thank you. There were six or seven people who wrote in the form that we opened for you on the LMS beforehand. What? you expect and what are you hoping for thank you for that uh, i want to say to everybody here that hasn't done that remember you had to look at our videos so if you haven't looked at our short videos uh, please go and do that and there's a, uh, a link to a form where there's a number of pre-course questions now you know that as a facilitator you would like to have a little bit before and after of your participants. So those of you who haven't done that, please just go back where uh, the, the link is into the form to answer those questions. I would really just like to um, request you to do that. So the first activity that you can then write in the chat box today, there are two questions. So you can answer anyone that you would like to. 
so the one is what are you expecting first of all what are you expecting what do you think will happen what do you what do you want to happen uh, and then the second question and uh, what 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 are, what are you hoping for by participating in this course so what what are you hoping to get out of it so firstly what are you think it will be what do you want it to be and then what do you hope will well, for you going through how will that change you how will that help you so we have we actually ahead of time um, so we have a good 10 minutes for this uh, ian are you reading from the chat i will read from the chat also yeah there's nothing in the chat yet please uh, share I your ideas in the chat right I'll give a few moments to uh, think about what you'd like to share Milka, she or he expects how to be an efficient facilitator, tools and skills that are necessary to have. Right, there will be tools and skills. <laughs> Thanks, Milka. Is Dr. Mugatsa still in the waiting room? Selena? I want to be the best facilitator. I hope to be able to facilitate both online and physically. Great, yes, certainly. Whoa, now we go fast. I just want to reflect on what Selena said. Uh, uh, Ian, just keep an eye on where we are. Sure. Uh, we, are we facilitators of this course are supposed to model <laughs> what, what we'd like you to learn. Definitely and in the online space is not easy. Okay, and now Ian, just go back to the one after Selena. Yeah, Eskada hopes to refine my facilitator skills with new materials. We hope you certainly hope we'll be able to find some materials for you. She has some Celebalo said, I'm expecting to learn how to be effective a facilitator in an online teaching environment. Um that's that's great. Uh to learn from uh, Dr. Mugadza, to learn from others, to be a competent facilitator. Uh Kwame, hope I'm expecting to learn how to improve my facilitation skills and receive feedback from our audience. It's an interesting one. Certainly, feedback is something that can help us uh, improve what we're doing. Um, Bahiru, lived experience from participants on effective facilitation skills, uh, bringing in the learning from each other, which we certainly hope will happen. Expect everyone has to share experiences and ideas on how to be a good facilitator. Uh, indeed, we are also hoping that that is going to, to happen. How to move ideology from a teaching platform to a learning platform. So Ray is picking up on our shift from, from teaching to, to learning. Um, and yes, it, it, it is a shift and does require moving in ideology. Do you want to take over again, Mariki? Yes, I will be with Jennifer now. Uh, to learn how to facilitate small groups of interprofessionals in a better way, giving time to each member to express themselves. Yeah, so Jennifer is bringing out the interprofessional aspect, uh, which is which is also another skill to deal with. Thanks, Jennifer, for that. Let me just scroll down. Ivan, I hope to understand the Stripe modules and become a competent facilitator. Yeah, I would like to uh, sometime to unpack what you mean by competent. What am I competent or not? <laughs> Maybe in the small groups, we will have some discussion next week in the small groups. How do you see a competent facilitator? Hmm. So just on the Stripe modules. Hmm. We're not giving you content. This is a Stripe module, but we're not getting you giving you content on the Stripe modules itself. But going through this course will help to facilitate you, help you to facilitate any content that you have. It's not content specific. Okay, let me go down. I think we missed Erdo said uh, to be more efficient group facilitator. 
I heard very much about facilitating groups and experience sharing on the topic. Okay, sorry about that. Then I'm now at Rahel, is that right? Mm -hmm. So Rahel, efficient experience, how to facilitate Stripe trainings and other trainings. Yes, certainly. Again, uh, the word efficient is using is being used like three times. Efficient and competent, better. Okay, is Rahel the last one? Yeah, uh, there's yeah. some that we haven't heard from, who who, who haven't shared yet. Um. Okay. Keep coming. If you if you've already said something, you can say something else. The, um, the second question: What what are you hoping for? How would you how would you like to let's put it like how would you like this course to change you? What would you like to do differently as a result? Apart from efficient and competent, maybe a little bit more detail. Like somebody said, uh, do interprofessional facilitation. So Mariam says, I expect to learn about the techniques of helping learners acquire and retain knowledge and skills. Uh, that's lovely. I mean, that's really what what we hope when we do facilitation right. is that we'll we'll help people to to gain and retain knowledge right. and skills. Uh, uh, and again, all of you are already doing it in your own way. That's some what somebody said about lived experiences. Uh, and sharing your rich experiences will enhance mm. others. Um, who haven't we seen? I don't think us, we don't think we heard. Did we hear from Heaven Light? Uh, did we hear from Eskadar? Uh, who else did we? Uh, did we hear from? Uh, There's Milka. Selena. I, I think Selena said something. I read something from Selena. Um, Milka, Milka says to improve communication skills in an interprofessional environment, how to approach different disciplines. Yeah, that's very interesting, Milka. That's, a, that's around working with diversity in groups and working with hierarchies you know in the health profession that some professions perceive themselves as on different levels now i've now lost the track it's moved fast now ian after milka uh, what was there then we that had was, uh, after milka was uh, was heaven light to enrich my knowledge in facilitation and learn different tools for teaching and learning Right. Uh, yes, we hope we'll all we, we we also hope to learn from this process um, and enrich our knowledge as well. Um, right. Yeah. And right. Dr. Magadza said to be student centered, teaching that is problem solving driven. Certainly, we hope to be student centered. Uh, yeah, it's interesting teaching that is problem solving driven. I would, yeah. I think we're going to focus on learning, but hopefully learning that is problem solving driven. <laughs> okay, there's one. Uh, oh, this thing jumps if you click on it. Sorry, Ian, can you uh, see the next one? So, yeah, Celebalo, I hope to improve on skills to correctly align learning and assessment with objectives, especially high level assessment like analysis. Um, yeah, we won't we won't really be talking about assessment, but uh, but it's, it's I mean it's maybe it's something it'll come up in some of the discussions and, and and experiences that we share uh, as we go along. And I mean that's the challenge if you have a facilitation approach in in learning is how do you align that with with your assessment? Um, is that the one you did now the correctly align learning assessment with uh, mm -hmm. with objectives especially high level like analysis yeah so jennifer was next yeah. jennifer i hope to become a better facilitator who will support teams for as long as i can empowering many to become better facilitators too now that is very important jennifer thank you for bringing that up because what we are doing with you together with you is to help you 
to be able to train the trainer. So we we will regard you as the first cohort, obviously to help you to facilitate any trainings, but we want you to train the next cohort of facilitators. Or we want you to carry on. You are the trainers at the moment. We want you to become the people who train the trainers in this course and in other courses. Okay, then there's another one for a better outcome. Yeah, right. And Rahel, I hope I will get experience on how to manage an advantage of group learning. Yeah, okay. Online, that's a challenge, you know. People don't put on the cameras. They sit, there's a little black box. They don't speak. <laughs> you don't know what's happening, no. what's happening. <laughs> yeah, right. So we hope to work with that. So it's, uh, yeah. So as a facilitator, I'll show you. I have a little paper here with the number of minutes that we're supposed to spend on each item to keep us up to time. Mm. So we've actually spent a little bit more time on this. Uh, Selena says my network is unstable. OK, then uh, if your network is unstable. You don't have to put on your camera. If you can put on your camera, that's nice, like Ivan just did, so we can see him. See, he's listening seriously. <laughs> Okay, so now the next uh, item is now, let's get into a bit of technical things or to help you how to navigate the course on the LMS. So uh, in the introduction, those people who had a chance to look at it, this video was already there uh, that Kanita made. So, but we thought of showing it again, it's about seven minutes. And then we will open the floor for you to ask questions around anything around that. So uh, all of you are familiar with the uh, AfriHealth LMS. I understand from Roger, many of you have been registered already, but we really want you just to work this course just like you work your type, your typing here. So, okay, Kanita, then over to you to play the video and then manage the questions. Okay, thank you, Prof. Um, I'm going to start playing and then I just would like someone to indicate if you can hear um, what's going on on the video. Good day and welcome we to the Sunstripe Facilitation for Learning course. This is a quick video on how to navigate your way through this course. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to click on the name of this course and once it is open, you'll see that we divided the course into the six different units. So we tried to make the navigation as easy as possible. Um, so you'll see at the top of the screen that there are a couple of quick links that will take you directly to the different units. Please note that we will only open the next unit as we continue with the course. Okay, so let's look at the structure. First, there is a start here button and an orientation button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start here. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that your entire section is at the bottom of the quick links. Um, so you can start with a quick um, course map. Uh, this video that I'm making now, I'll add to this navigation video. There's a facilitator's guide how to guide uh, for facilitators and also for students and some e-learning tools. So all of these links are clickable. I'm going to click on the course map. So this will be your, um, your map to guide you through this entire course. So once it is open, I can go ahead and show you what it would look like. Okay. So um, these buttons are also clickable, so you can go ahead and click on them and it will take you directly to your course. So you'll start there, that is the section that I indicated to just now. There is your orientation, it will tell you exactly what you need to do for the orientation and when your Zoom session is. The same with Unit 1 to up until Unit 6. So if you want to have a quick and navigation through the units again, just go to your course map. Okay, so I'm going to go back and show you what the uh, facilitator's guides look like. 
So during this course, we will um, introduce you to a couple of e-learning tools. The first one is the Miro board. We have Mentimeter, the Flipgrid videos, Padlet, Google Documents, um, how to use Zoom, and also how to use the discussion forums. So at any point, if you are uncertain on how to use some of these tools, you can just go ahead and click on the link, watch the video, and there are some easy steps also how to use it. Let's go back to the main page. Just going to click on start here again and show you the rest. So there's the entire course aims and outcomes. Here you can meet your facilitators. Please make sure that you go through these videos. Once it is loaded, you can just scroll uh, scroll all the way down. It will prompt you to log in with either Google or Microsoft. I'm going to click on Microsoft. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. In this case, I'm going to have to log in. Once I am logged in, um, it will show me a couple of videos here. Please make sure that you go through the videos that's going to be uploaded just to make sure that you meet your facilitators. Okay. Let's go back to start here. So you see here at the top of the screens, there are also quick links. Um, this way I can just quickly go back to the start here button. So there's the, the instructions for the course. Please also make sure that you start off with the MS form that you need to submit. So just click on the button there. It will ask you a couple of questions, fill in the questions and then submit. Going back. Um, here you can familiarize yourself with how to use the forum discussion. You'll see during the course we'll give you a couple of opportunities to participate in a forum discussion. So how you do this is you click on the topic for discussion and you can read the instructions that will, will be indicated there and then you just click the button reply. Once you are done replying you post your session to the forum. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go back to start here. Okay, next I would like to show you what the orientation would look like. Clicking on the shortcut, scroll down, and here I am. So you'll see that each one of the units will have an introduction and outcomes booklet. So click on the booklet, read through the introduction, and then click on the next the arrow for the next page. Also read the outcomes for each unit. Go back to the orientation session. Okay, so once you are in uh, your specific unit, um, the Zoom links will be here. Uh, we will have a 90 minute Zoom session every Thursday um, for seven weeks. Uh, for each session, we're asking you to reflect on the facilitation strategies that you have seen. So how this would work is you'll click on um, the Here button. This is a shared document, so you'll see that everyone in this group will post here. So just make sure that you choose a line for yourself, start typing, um, and this way we capture everybody's reflections. Okay, and then in each unit, you'll also see that at the top of this, this page, this is what, what would happen before and during the Zoom sessions. But after this line, we're asking you to do a couple of things. So things that you have to do after the contact sessions and before the next unit. So in this case, we're asking you to do a post-orientation activity. So you just click there and follow the instructions. And then we're asking you to do something before unit one. Click on the pre-unit activity and read the instructions. Okay, let's go ahead and look at unit one, just for a quick indication of what the units would look like. I'm going to scroll down. Again, there we have the pre-unit activity. Please make sure that you complete this before unit one. There the link of the Zoom session would be and there again is your post session reflection. So again, this is that share doc that I indicated before and um, we will ask you to, to type again the facilitation strategies that you see during the session. And just like before, the, this is what you would have to do after the contact session.
I hope you enjoy this course. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Good. Okay, so um, before we continue with the infographic, um, I just want to find out if anybody has any questions. You can post it in the chat or unmute to ask a couple of questions if you're uncertain how the LMS works. Yeah, feel welcome to put up your hand also. You know how that works. Or just unmute and talk. Put something in the chat. Is there... Is there anybody that feels overwhelmed? You don't have to say if you feel like that. <laughs> but if you're familiar with the LMS, it's very intuitive, as you saw in the video. And you are all registered now for the on the LMS. You've got your quite straightforward. Thank you, Malka. Great. That means uh, Kanita did a good video. And she, she designed uh, the course on the LMA, so it's always good to have a person like that. It's not something that I can do. <laughs> do we take the silence as that there's no questions? Or do we wait a bit? You know, as a facilitator, you also know how to use silences. Just say nothing. Wait. <laughs> okay, Celebalo, the video is perfect for teaching and learning. Eskadar quite clear, really. Okay. Okay, Kanita, that's great. So you Kanita, can you just post your email address in the Yes. Yours and Roger. Roger, you know all know Roger Lawrence. Uh, Roger, can you put on your face? Roger is the F Africa put, on your face. put on your face. Sorry, <laughs> put on your put your face on your camera. I'm sure everybody of you know Roger by now. Uh, so if you have any challenges in accessing the LMS itself, then you need to go to Roger. Kanita has to help with the course, but for the LMS itself, Roger is your man. And Roger, maybe also just post your, your email address again. Um, Ivan says the video is easy to follow. Uh, maybe afterwards you can also make a video like that yourself. I like the way that she explained it. It sounded so easy. Well, as you talked to the video, didn't it? Hmm. It's just me, I don't see either Kanita's or Roger's addresses in the chat. Yes. Okay, I needed to stop sharing to be able to post, so I'll post now. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. There's a new thing for you to learn. If you sharing your PowerPoint, you can't post in the chat. I didn't know that. So you have to stop share and then post. So. There's E, ooh, University of Ibadan, Nigeria. You need to pronounce your name for us. What do we call you? Kola Wali, Ifu Luwapu. Welcome. Well, let's check our timetable again. So, Maybe just to give you a little bit of how we developed the course. 
uh, in the facilitator's guide, you will see that we have a, a document called the, the, the unit guide. And there's a document that sets out how you do these uh, contact sessions. And uh, that, of course, will be available to you once you do the course yourself. And in that, you have a schedule how, how many minutes per section you do during the Zoom session so that you will have kind of a detailed way how you can just do the Zoom session yourself. So according to my schedule, the video and the questions should be finished by four o'clock. So that's good if we have a little bit more time for the reflection then. Um, okay, are you then satisfied that we move on? Can I ask? Uh, Somebody just to say yes. Uh, somebody, we, okay. Right, there yeah, somebody says yes there. Yes, okay, thank you so much. So then the next item we are looking at, let me just close the chat, otherwise I can't see. So we, there's a number of, of resources for you, uh, which is general resource, resources. Uh, first up front, before we go into specific, uh, you know, articles and tools and things about facilitation. So, Anita, are you just going to take, do you want me to, to take us through the list? So there's an introduction to Afri Health and its activities. Can you just click on that link that we, is it clickable? We, we won't go into everyone, we'll just show that as a... So there you have Madame Georgina, the Executive Director of AfriHealth, and there is a short video with PowerPoints about AfriHealth. So you all know AfriHealth, but having something like this that you can also use when you go and present something on behalf of AfriHealth somewhere is useful. Okay, now Kanita, I need to go back out. And when you do these Zoom sessions, you need somebody like Anita to navigate these things. Because did you notice on her screen all the things she's got open at the bottom there? Uh, I can't play that piano. <laughs> so make sure you have somebody, <laughs> somebody in your team who is tech savvy who can do this. So num I, uh, uh, number two is how to navigate the Africa Health LMS. Yeah, le le let's look at everyone just briefly. Click here. So this is what Roger did. Hi. So uh, if you're unsure about the LMS, that's for you to look at. It is also for you to use when you teach your students who's never ever had anything to do with the LMS. So we, we made this resources for you to use going forward with your students. And Roger got a very nice voice. So that's a nice video for you there. It's only like four and a half minutes. Okay, then back to the next one. We st what was number two? Just go back. This was Rogers. Roger, how to navigate the course. Number three, okay, that's the video that Kanita showed you a moment ago. So, okay, yeah, open that one. Stripe background and achievement. We asked Mike Reed. So now you have to go via the LMS. In the password. Uh, sorry, I can't remember the password now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's something we can learn. So have mm -hmm. your password ready. Uh, okay, if you can't get in, that's all right. So that's a video made by. Uh, just go up again, Mike. Uh, Doctor Mike Reed. You all know him. He's the PI for the Stripe Project at UCSF. He made a short video of what the Stripe Project is who's involved and what we have achieved. Again, that's a very nice uh, video for you to look at or to show, say when your, your boss asks, but what is the Stripe project? Then you can use that. So number five, how to use Zoom and Zoom facilitator guidelines. Yeah, we won't yeah, go into that. We won't, just want to, to remind you of that. This is guidelines that's been developed. Okay, you still need your password. Yeah, I'm just going to open it quickly on this page. 
Okay, that's been developed during year two. And that is very useful for people who don't know Zoom, which is not you, because you know it. How to guides for facilitators. Can you open the, that one, yeah? So that's a guidelines for using Zoom. That's a very useful thing, especially if you have new facilitators who's never, so it tells you how to join a meeting, all these things you, you know to do because you have done it. But it doesn't tell you you need to close your share if you want to post in the chat because I don't remember that. So that's very useful for you also to use. Uh, we are going to use small groups in this course, which is a bit more tricky, but we would also like you to learn how to do that. Then you are familiar with the Stripe Facilitator Guidelines. That's the technical guidelines that UCSF has, uh, has uh, developed. It's okay if you can't get to that, uh, Kanita. Uh, let's just see what's the last one there. Okay, then there's a series of podcasts. I don't think that's very well known. Your okay. sound's gone a bit, Mariki. Hello, is that better now? Yeah. That's a series of podcasts. The Sunstripe team did that before COVID. So it's uh, more focused on face-to-face uh, um, -face, uh, facilitation. Uh, and it's based on a discussion. It's actually quite informal. Uh, and that is maybe also something for you to look at or something to use when you have uh, younger facilitators who's like never done anything like this. Can you remember how long each episode is, Ian? Um, I was trying to remember myself. I don't think they're so short. Probably about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that long. Hmm? Yeah. Any case, so there's the link. This is actually on the Afri Health uh, uh, website, but the link is in the LMS for you that uh, uh, Kanita made for you. Okay, and then we go back to the infographic. You know what an infographic is? Is this thing that she made, which is really very nice, and she made it with the with the links. Again, what she did is really great. And then the course aims and outcomes, and that's also on the course. Is that the, the whole lot? So yeah. that's yeah. kind of thank you so much. Can you make it smaller? Let's we just see the the infographic on the slide again. So. Uh, I'm sharing with you a little, as we go along, a little bit of the process, how we de developed it. So there was a slide in the slide deck with a list of all these guidelines. And then we thought, no, but this is pretty boring. And then Kanita had this idea of to make an infographic like this. This is a thing called an infographic. And to add the links. So when you, when you, um, he will post the PowerPoints after the session on the LMS. So when you go to the infographic, and you're looking for something, it's also an easy way just to search for it. It's also something that you can use. Even like you are good with the technicalities. I'm sure you can do things like this also. And thank you for uh, Kanita for that. Okay, so let's see. I think that's the resources. Mariki, so, I just checked the, the uh, podcasts are between 16 and 25 minutes, the five okay. of them. So okay. they're very yeah, Okay, thank you. So it's a little bit longer. Uh, I think they're, they're really useful, especially if you want to start with people that's never facilitated before. So we have three sections left in the next half hour. Let me just uh, summarize them for you. We will have a session on reflection now. And Ian, I think you can take more time with this. Then we will give you guidelines on the post-session activity and the preparation for unit one. Remember what uh, Kanita showed you in the video? There's, there's the preparation for the, for the Zoom session, like for this, you watched our Flipgrid videos, you entered your expectations on the, on the form, um, so after this, you will have a post-session activity and then a preparation for unit one. But what we're going to do first is to do a reflection on this session thus far. 
um, and it's it's we are using it as a a learning tool i don't mm. the word teaching is not allowed <laughs> But the Ameriki, before we come on to the reflection, I think we should just right. check if there are any questions that anybody has anything to do with the course and what we've talked oh, about yes. today, okay. not just the technical now, yes. okay. All right. Let's do that. issues. Thank you. Um, so yeah, is there is there anything that anybody wants wants to know at this point that that you don't know? Yes, you're welcome to unmute and talk or raise your hand, write in the chat, use any of those. what are your expectations of us after the training do you want me to talk to that Ian? sure so what every i'm speaking with the every health hat now um what every health would like from you after the training and obviously you it, it is your choice every health wants to develop a group of let's call them expert or master or every health master trainers um, that can continue to do training courses for every health so we want then say you remember that uh, there was a course or there is a course called uh, stripe global uh, but we can't do it because if there's not uh, funding for schools we can't do the courses because the schools don't do it. So Afri Health wants to carry on uh, presenting courses on a variety of topics. You can even come with your own your own topic, but we want to have a group of uh, I don't know how how many 10, 15 that we can draw on from time to time that will come in and facilitate courses. Uh, we will strive, Afri Health is, is, is uh, striving to uh, 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 obtain resources so that you won't do it for free. Obviously, you need to be uh, uh, rewarded for your time. Uh, but the idea is that if you feel ready for it, and we would really like most of you to do that, that we can follow through on that. If some of them, if some of you are ready after this course to help us, the Sunstripe team in teaching going forward, you can also put your name forward and we can talk to you how, if and how we will do that. Does that, uh, who asked that question? Uh, um, before my sorry, Blas, that's Milka. My Milka, okay, Milka. Yeah. But I think to, to add that at the very the least, we hope that that you will in your own environment, wherever you are, that you will be using the skills to facilitate uh, both online and 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 uh, face to face um, right. learning, um, at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. So Milka is following up with some of the courses be in person. The Afri Health courses we we don't know yet. For the moment, we're focusing on courses uh that's based on the uh, in the lms uh the hybrid with the zoom and lms like we're doing now the moment we're focusing on that because we really want the lms to become strong vibrant people to use it uh but you can take the courses like you're doing the stripe courses and do it online at, uh, on um sorry in person at your place my dad was asked well we have an opportunity to train others after this yes you will you can take this course and use it at your institution if your institution is an every health member of course uh, and like i said if you are interested in carrying on training on this course we will we'll, we'll talk about that at the end of the of the course uh, milka says is answered and i think uh, dr Mugadza made the point that uh yeah that that 
it uh, much practice is required. And yes, I'm not sure whether you mean in facilitation, but much practice in facilitation is required, but also practice with the with the LMS to become familiar with it. It, it does take some some practice. I just want to, is Georgina still on? If she wants to say something. Yes, no, Mariki, I'm oh, on. Yes. yes, please, Georgina. <laughs> I'm Would on, I've been listening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Anything, anything you'd like to contribute? All right. This stage? Uh, I will say thank you to the Sunstripe team for their good work and also to our participants. I'm very happy to see them here. And I know that as you've told them, uh, it's not just about they getting the skills and going back, but also becoming assets for AfriHealth so that we can use them and uh, we can really build other people uh, as far as training is concerned. So I hope that they will find time commit time to this program. Every week, you will find time. And if even uh, for some reasons, you are not able to participate in some of the meetings and they seek permission, they will go back to the recordings and follow up from there so that we can really get the best out of them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Georgina. Okay, Ian, then I think you can go ahead with the, the re reflection learning says uh, part. Yes, so um, thank you, Mariki. So Kanita has shared the link in, in the chat. Um, would you just share the questions again on the screen, um, Kanita? So what we want to ask you to do is write down on the shared document that you can um, connect to through the link in the chat. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll ask you to start doing it now, I'll give you uh, five, five minutes or so to start writing. What did you observe during the session in terms of the process of what was going on this, in the session? What did you observe about the learning process that went on uh, in this, this session this afternoon. Uh, what have you learned, observed, or what have you learned from it today? So if you can share that on, on the document, uh, as I said, we'll give you five minutes or so to, to do that, and then to ask you to carry on doing that afterwards. Uh, you'll still have the link to the document. Um, I have the document in your computer, and you can carry on doing that so that everyone can see what um what each other is sharing um so yeah we're just going to give, so uh we're going to be playing some uh, music while we do that to to help you with that um yeah so please just take some time to do that
So I know that uh, maybe we can pause the music, uh, Kanita. So I know that some of you are still finding your way on the document. It's you do have to put your cursor in a particular spot in order to type. And uh, um, yeah, we'll do some sorting out afterwards. Please carry on writing there. And after we finish in, in, in a few minutes and so on, please continue to, to write until you've said everything that you want to say. But is there anybody who um, now in the group would just like to, we'd just like a couple of people just to summarize or share one or two things that, that you wrote. We will see it all in, on, on that document, but just to hear any particular things you noticed and observed about the session this afternoon. I think we can stop the slideshow, Anita. Who would like to share something? Just raise your hand or unmute yourself and speak. Nice to hear some other voices. Yes, we haven't heard your voices today. I can see from the uh, document that people have been observing things. Yes. I don't know who observed it because you 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 might have noticed your contributions come up as the names of animals. So we've no idea who's putting them up. Dorato, do you want to say something? I see you've shown your camera. Yes, yes. So I've just learned that uh, working as a team is very difficult facilitation. Sorry, I missed that. I'm saying I've just learned that working as a team is important and it makes hmm. work easy. Right. And, uh, in facilitation, that is. Hmm. Thanks for that, Lorato. Yeah, yeah, we've 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 learned to work as a team. And I'm still learning to work as a team, as 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 the Sunstripe group doing this. It's it's a process. Yeah, yeah. And then people have different strengths in the team. Yeah. Like I can't do what Kanita did with that PowerPoint. Uh, so you get to know the strengths or the abilities of your people, <laughs> and then you then it's good to to let them use that, to also make them feel valued. I see Milka's name is up, you can talk. Thank you. Um, I just want to say that the atmosphere is uh, friendly. So you, you can easily share uh, and comment. And I think that's good, creating a good environment. Thank good, you, you remember one of our uh, aims was about safety and creating a safe place so we hope that we yes. can carry on doing that <laughs> yeah thank you very much thanks Luca. i just add on things? my colleagues i haven't really not had so many uh, training opportunities like this where you have the different moderators able to team up together very well and then you have the trainee also coming in to make active participation but most importantly is the use of the audio visual way of learning. It makes a session more interactive and more appreciated. So I'm really very happy for this approach. I think I will take up the same when I come to the training part. Thank you. Thanks, Ivan. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ivan. Sela Balu. Your hand is up. You can speak. Yes, please. You're mute. Uh, I'm unmute. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I think uh, an important thing that I've learned today is basically how to work together because while we were facilitating the Stripe HIV, we were there trying to support uh, each other as facilitators. But I think uh, today I've learned some few tips on how we are going to then 
improve that support that we wanted to give to each other. Thank you very much. Thanks, Selva. Hmm. So uh, I noticed that somebody in the in the in the document talked about this course is more on how to facilitate and not the new content of Stripe. So yes, that is true. If you came expecting to be taught about Stripe content, um, that's that's not going to happen. Um, but that leads me to another thing. I said, it come expecting to be taught. Uh, and, and somebody else said, yeah, we took turns to share knowledge. Uh, well, um, this might be the last of the sessions in which we are going to be uh, teaching any knowledge or sharing any knowledge or doing any presentations. Um, so this introduction is quite different actually from the rest of the units that you are going to be uh, part of. Um, I think the rest of the units will be more fun than today. So if you enjoyed today, I think you'll enjoy the others even more. But uh, obviously, that's my perspective. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, um, yes, to share what I have learned. Um, I think this has been very important that we are able to pick out that this um, experience or learning is not course specific. And we can apply it uh, when uh, 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 okay. We can apply it during any learning sessions or learning moments with the with the with the participants wherever we are. And the other thing is uh, personally, I've picked out a point that I have to have self discipline while taking on this course for the remaining few weeks and be able to participate in time and everything. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jennifer. We hope it'll be worth it. Yes, this course is very much what you make of it. And the more you participate, I think the more you will benefit from it. I think we can wrap it up there so that you can move on to the last two things and we can finish on time. But please feel free to carry on sharing on that document um, afterwards as that, that will help us to reflect on, on the course. And as you see each other's comments, help hopefully help you as well. So back to you, Mariki. Thank you, Ian. So this last 10 minutes or so, we didn't teach you anything. You have now identified what you have learned and you are identifying different things. And you're probably going to remember it better than if I told you a list of things that you must do. For instance, if I gave you a list, you must do this or that or what in a group. You have now said, you notice how the team work, how, how this does, how that does. So we're using, like I say, this reflection as a learning opportunity. And we hope that it that it really helps for you. As, as we said, you're adult learners, experience facilitators. We're trying to do it different than just to give you knowledge. We're using a process through the process you gain your insights and your knowledge okay so if kanita can share the powerpoint again uh, i have to admit here yeah, that i am an academic and i cannot present a course without any academic content <laughs> you see jackie smiling <laughs> I have, I have to give you have to read something academic. Okay, so we, we chose one article for you. There are many others. You will uh, want to start googling tips for small group learning. In fact, Julia discovered a very a similar, very interesting one uh, last week. If you have that link, Julia, you can share it in the chat, or we can share it later. So this is a very interesting article called Twelve Tips for small group learning, for small group teaching. And it's called 2.1, Rebooted for Remote and High Flex Learning. So this article was published a few years ago. I can't remember when, when it was published first. And then, then they redid it and published it last year. Uh, sorry, this year, this year. It's fresh out of the oven. So they... <laughs> They rebooted, they called it rebooted for remote and high flex learning. Now the term high flex learning 
is hybrid learning where you do a, a combination of online and and face to face so you have some students online and some in the class it's not a common term but so that you just understand what it so that is really is really a nice article to read i think some one of you mentioned one of the tips already in somewhere in the chat and that is the tip of planning it took us many hours to plan this course many days many weeks so that's the uh, article so can you tell if they click on that link will that take them directly to the article maybe you can uh, click on it should yes yeah will it do it now Let's see yeah well, there it is there you go yeah and it's in medical teacher and medical teacher is a very good journal if you haven't read medical teacher very good article for uh, uh, facilitators of learning okay all right so that and then the next slide now okay now you're going to ask okay she's asking post the link in the in the chat uh, can, you, uh, can you do that are we not it putting is, the article in the LMS because not every, everyone will have an institution that has a link to the article? Okay, uh, Kanita? Yes, I can yeah. add the article to the LMS. Yes. So we'll post the link, but what Kanita is saying, if you are in the orientation session, the PDF of the article will be there, which will be easier to find it, it's like what Ian said. Some of your institutions won't be able to go straight to medical teacher. You have to pay for it. Ivan says, "Okay." So this is now your post. This is now after today. We want you to go and read that twelve tips article, and look at the tips and take a few there that are useful for you. Maybe some, especially new ones, or not some that you can say, "Oh yeah, if I do that, it will be really good for me." And then think, why do you think it will be good to use? Um, then we want you to, in the discussion forum, like Kanita showed us where it is, just write a short, I chose the tip of planning and I um, chose that because I realize if I don't plan and I come there and I don't know what to do, a mm -hmm. sentence or two, why you identified it, uh, uh, and what and why, that helps with your learning because if you just read something, you do nothing with it, Okay, some of it sits here, but if you now, but most of it flows out on the other back of your brain <laughs> or other ear out. So if you then write down what you have learned and why you have learned, that will stay with you. That's also another way of learning. And then uh, your other course participants will post and then just say, oh, okay, I see you like that one. I like, I like that one too. So this is actually, it shouldn't take you long to do. And I think this 12 tips article, you can keep next to your computer or in your computer. This is like a very useful, you talked about tools and tips. This will be really good for you to use as a facilitator going forward. So this is the post session activity. So uh, please do it in the next day or two, otherwise, some Sunday, Monday, they forgotten already. And we're looking forward, to, we will talk to you on the on the discussion forum. So that's a post session activity. And then the last slide is now next Thursday, we're doing unit one. So next slide. So what's your preparation for unit one? Something very nice. You're going to create, is it a one minute? Video, video or is it a two minute video or a one and a half minute doesn't matter it's a short video uh kanita has showed you the link how to go to flipgrid so doing this video will do two things it will help us to know you it will also teach us how to use a flipgrid video and i never done it before i've done it twice, two or three times now and i can sort of do it <laughs> So it's an, again a nice tool for you. There he puts the uh, Ian has added the the in the chat the link. So no, it's for the article. Sorry, I was just catching article, up yeah, for the article. I mean, yeah, and the, you you will find the flip video in in the orientation session on the LMS. So say who you are, what do you do, 
uh, what is your experience as a facilitator? So not a, not a long thing, but think about what have you done as facilitator? Where are you from? Who you are? What do you do? What's your experience as a facilitator? It helps us and your other fellows to understand you, know you, uh, and then you can look at the videos of your other participants. And then if you see something that's that you recognize that's similar, maybe a challenge for you, um, then you post comments in the discussion forum again on the LMS. So I just want to pause here to ask if you have any questions about these two uh, small tasks for you now before we meet again next week. I see there's uh, things in the chat. Oh, that's the link. Okay. Everything clear for now? I'm sure you might remember you have questions. So if you have any questions, please, the discussion board is ready to ask. Technical questions, as I said, go to uh, logistical questions, go to Winifred around the course, the LMS to Roger, the course, the uh, uh, how to navigate the our course is Kanita. Okay, yes, all clear. Thanks, Malka. The link is to the abstract. We will put the PDF in the LMS for those who can't access the article. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Ian to wrap up and close. And just from my side, thank you so much for coming. I hope to see you all for the next six weeks. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Mariki. And yeah, the last, the, oh, <laughs> Kanita, you closed the slide. <laughs> I was going to read the quote. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, um, yeah, I think that that quote is just sort of talks about our philosophy and the lioness that, that uh, as lifelong learners, we, we learn from our experiences and uh, Reflecting on them enables us to transform them into learning experiences and brings about new learning. Um, and that we hope to be promoting um, environments.